Welcome back everyone. One of the things I didn't do or show you was name your layers in a previous video. And it's a big deal. Name your layers is a simple yet powerful practice that can improve your design workflow, collaboration, and maintenance. It's a good habit to adopt when working with design tools and it can save you time and frustration while making your designs more accessible and assignable to others. The fastest and most straightforward way to rename a layer is by double click on its name in the layers panel. This will highlight the text allowing you to type in a new name. And there are several other ways in renaming a layer, like right click on the layer in the canvas or the layers panel to open a context menu. From there, you can select rename or edit name to change the layer's name. Make sure everything is in the correct order if necessary. It appears fine. I begin by navigating to the layers panel on the left hand side of the screen. Start by selecting the top layer in the panel. By holding down the shift key, continue to click on the bottom layer. This action will automatically select all layers in between, making it a quick and efficient process. If you happen to come across a layer that shouldn't be part of the bulk renaming process, don't worry. Just hold down the command key on a Mac or the control key on a PC and click on the specific layer to unselect it from the group. Once you're sure that the selected layers are the ones you intend to rename in a bulk, it's time to use a keyboard shortcut. For a Mac user, you can press Command R, while a PC user can use Control R to access the rename selection feature. This method should help streamline the process for you. A pop up dialog box will appear, allowing you to rename your layers. For now, I'll leave the match field untouched, but we can revisit it later. I intend to rename my layers to something like Feature Gallery Card. I avoid clicking on Current Name because it retains the previous name, in this case, Rectangle. Additionally, there is an option to add a numerical order either from the top or bottom, which can be quite handy. Once you've made your selections, click Rename, and all the layers you've chosen will be updated. You'll quickly notice that the selected layers have been quickly renamed. If you need to modify the layers you renamed a few seconds ago, you can revisit the Rename Selection function again. On a Mac, you can access it with Command R, and on PC, it's Control R. This time, we'll make use of the Match feature, similar to Find and Replace in other applications. For example, if I wish to change Feature to Home Gallery, I'd input Feature in the first field and Home without a space in the second field, as I don't want a space after Home. Once you configure the settings, click Rename, and the layers will be updated with the new names. There you have it. Managing multiple identical name layers can indeed be a hassle. However, taking the time to label layers properly not only streamlines the process, but also enhances the design file more shareable and adaptable for future changes, making your life much easier. If you found this tutorial helpful, I would love your support. Please consider liking the video, subscribing to our channel, and click on the notification bell to stay updated with more useful tips and tricks. Thank you for watching.